everyone, Serena B here and welcome to my crafty channel. Today I have a really fun and easy tutorial for you guys. I'm going to be making one of my mini folio albums. I am obsessed with making. They're so much fun to do. They're super quick and they come together so nicely. I'll link down my project video where I made the first one and show you guys. These are super fun and easy to make. Um, you can use them as mini albums, which I've done already. I've made two mini albums with them. They're so much fun. Or you can use them the way I'm going to be showing you guys today as a little happy mail um, mini album for your pen pals. So I'm gonna be using the Merry Days collection. Let's get started. The first thing is to select the 12 by 12 paper that you wanna use. Um, this is preferably done with a 12 by 12 paper that is double sided and you'll see why shortly. But for this project, you're gonna need a six by 12 sheet of paper. So just basically cut your 12 by 12 paper in half. The next step is to take your scoreboard or if you don't have a scoreboard, you can use a ruler and stylus or something. So here we go. The first step is to decide which pattern you want as your cover. I think I'm gonna go with the holly as my cover. And that's also gonna be the cover of your pocket. So go ahead and turn it to the side. We're gonna score it so that we're making the little pocket. You can either score it at two inch, but I like to just do it a little bit, uh, just a little bit smaller than two inches. So right here, I'm scoring it all the way down. And we're going to score three lines. So the first one is at three inches. So go all the way down on your paper. Next, we're gonna score at six inches. And then the last score line is at nine inches. So basically you're creating four little three by four spots. So the next step is to fold everything and fold over your score lines. And this is where you do an accordion fold. So if you see what I'm doing, like a mountain valley kind of fold, I think that's what it's called. So that it opens like this. And there you have it. And it becomes this cute little folio. Isn't it so adorable? All right. If you want, you can glue this part down and it'll make like a little flip part, but I don't really like that. I like to see it open all together like this. All right, next step is to glue the ends over here. Tombow Mono Multi to glue it down because I can get a thin line so that I, make, I can have more room for the goodies I'm going to include in there. So when you're using this glue, a little bit goes a long, long way. So just lightly press on it and if you can see I'm not adding a lot and I'm just I'm just letting a bit come out and then just dragging it with the tip. So that's all the glue I'm gonna need for this. So just fold over and lightly press. Just give it a couple of seconds, press down so that it has a firm grip. And a fun little tip, if you are using this glue and you get it on a project, while it's still wet, just grab an eraser and erase it out. That's what I just did and it comes out really nicely. Instead of using your fingers to erase it off because then uh, you can leave like some dirt smudges. Right. So for the closure, I like to use seam binding and I have this red one in my stash. So basically you just want to measure it to equal parts on both sides of the mini to adhere it in the back. I'm gonna be using some hot glue. So while my glue gun is heating up, I'm gonna go through the die cuts from the collection and try to find something to hide the ribbon in the back. I tend to use a die cut or cut apart piece from the collection that's big enough. So I'm probably gonna go with uh, one of these here. <laughs> or maybe I'll use this one. Yeah, I'm gonna cut this one down a little. <laughs> so I'm just gonna cut this because it's a little too long and I don't like the round corners. So that fits a lot better. To adhere the closure, go to the back side of your little booklet and you're gonna apply a thin line of glue in the middle, like in the center of the little 3x4 spot you made for your seam binding. Like a thin amount of glue would be enough. Eyeball the middle as much as possible. That should be fine. Just glue it down. 
can keep it this way if you don't want to cover it up with a embellishment but I like to cover it up anyway just to hide that glue so that's going really really nice my glue gun always leaks when I sit it on the side like I lay it flat on its side but it's always leaking and I don't know why if you guys have the same one I'm using the AdTech Precision Pro let me know if this happens to you and if it does what do you do <laughs> to make it work okay that should be enough glue all right I like to work fast in this situation because I don't want it to dry up okay and there you have your closure and you have a cute little mini album or happy mail folio for your pen pals okay so this is where the fun begins let's start decorating I kind of really like the way this looks sticking out like on this side and then I can tuck in some goodies for my pen pal there this is the fun part this is where you get to play and just try different things and see what you like like this would be really really cute here I can bring in a washi. Oh, I like that. Let's see. This here with this one. I like that contrast. Yeah, okay. That's what I'm doing. Okay. And then I like to look at this. Like that. So let's adhere things down. I'm using some Tombow adhesive. Be really cute there. I'm gonna glue her down. Um, in this case, I'm gonna use the Tombow Money Multi Liquid Glue. I like to kind of visualize at this point where I need to stop. So I'm only gonna add glue to the bottom over here, like this portion going down. So what I'm doing is just letting it come out of the nozzle first, really lightly, and then lightly pressing because I don't want this to seep through. So the really fun thing about this little mini is even though I'm using it as Happy Mail for gifting some little goodies, when my pen pal receives it and it's over, she can remove all the goodies and she can use this as a mini album, which is what I've been making. Um, I, this is the second little mini album I've made. Uh, like I said, I'll link the video down below if you want to see the first one I made. Um, so this one is for a friend. And like I said, I can't show you just yet, but there will be a video on this soon on my channel once my friend gets her happy mail in. But anyway, the point of that whole little bit here is that once she takes everything out of this, she can use this as a little mini album. She can add some photos and then have a little memory of 2018. I'm so excited. I'm going to make one for my birthday coming up. I'm really loving this whole little idea and if I haven't mentioned it already I got inspired by something similar that I saw on the crepe paper blog a while back by uh, Bia I think her name is hers was a little bit bigger and a little bit different but mine is like a cute little three by four size and I absolutely love this all right I just want to keep making a bunch of them for all different occasions they're really quick and easy to make and as you can see I'm having a lot of fun so let's continue decorating this up so here, let's finish this card. I'm going to be adding some enamel dots or some stars. Ooh, this is pretty. This is for my friend Danny. She sent these to me years ago. Um, and I have only this left. I think they're from Freckle Fawn, but this whole, these stars match this collection perfectly. Okay, carefully remove that. When I'm adding enamel dots and stuff, I like to do the principle of three or the rule of three. Okay, I'm gonna think I'm gonna put it up here. So um, the, whole, the whole idea is to kind of create a triangle. This one isn't really a triangle, but there's still the rule of three. I hope you guys are enjoying this more of a real-time tutorial. I'm interested to see how long this is going to take me to edit. <laughs> um, but this is fun. I like it. I like to talk through it instead of just having a voiceover all the time. So this is different for me. I hope you guys are enjoying. Okay, let's try some washi tape. I don't like to repeat elements though like I already have that here but that would actually not be so bad because it's like the beginning and end so I can actually make that work yeah okay so I'm gonna do that this is actually from the Fala La collection from last year from Crate Paper 
and my friend Mary Beth sent it to me last year and I absolutely love it. I've been using it with this collection and it works perfectly. I love mixing and matching crepe paper lines. All right, that's nice. Maybe I can add some gold. I just eyeball it. I don't really, it's not the same size, but it's fine because I'm gonna layer stuff on top of it. I really like how that is looking. So let's see, the house would look cute little beanie. I think it gets a little lost. I think maybe I need a bigger element. No, that's gonna cover the washi tape. Ooh, the little hot cocoa thing would be cute. <gasps> yes, okay, you see how this works? All right, if I use this, then I can include a little packet of tea. Wouldn't that be so cute? Hot cocoa, but let's pretend it's tea. <laughs> oh, that would be really cute, and I guess, okay, I'm totally doing that. So it's going down, guys, because then I can like, I don't know, put a word sticker here or whatever, and I can add a little packet of tea. Actually, let me go run downstairs and get a tea and see if it fits. Okay, so I don't know what tea she likes, but I've got toasted coconut almond bark and then chamomile. I'm thinking I'll go with this one. I got these two when I went to California and visit my friend Danny. So, yay. And it fits really, really nicely here. Perfect. So, yeah, I think that is what is going to stay here. So freaking cute. And then I can do like a little mail tag or something with my letter and some questions. That'd be fun. Add some more washi up here to fill in that space. And I think I'm gonna do these two. Or this and this, perfect. So let me know in the comment box if you have purchased this collection and if you like it as much as I do. I absolutely love it and I keep buying all the things um, for fun projects like this. So I decided to do a little rip looking effect with some decorative scissors. Okay, there we go. Perfect. And then this fits in nicely. So cute. And I might go back and add some bling and stuff. I'm, I think I wanna add um, a sticker or a word sticker or something. Okay, so my battery was charging for a little bit. So while it was charging, all I did was add this piece here because I pretty much confirmed with you guys that I was gonna do that. So I just glued it down and I added this star here and this other star here. So that's all I've done since waiting for my battery charge. So as I was saying, I wanted a sticker that kind of ties in with, you know, tea or coffee or something because I'm gonna include some tea. So I pulled out my precious, my precious Snow and Coco collection word stickers and I think I'm gonna go with the keep warm and snuggle up and to make a fit here, I'm gonna cut it up. So here we go. I think that is really cute and then I can add some jemmies here with the tea that goes in there, perfect. All right, I think I'm gonna add a word sticker here. So I pulled out my Tim Holtz stickers Hello, December. I like that. Hello, December. Hi, how are you? So this pocket is pretty much done. I might go and add a blingy bling here. Let's do that. Let's do dark green. Do a medium size one since I used the large and small. And put a little green one there. Yay, cute. Okay, what can we do here? Um, before I get into that, I want to decorate this little bag because I have some like little stray stickers and stuff that I want to include and like I'm gonna add this shaker um, piece from the Merry Days collection and I don't want to just like hanging in there floating in the pocket so I'm gonna put it in this little envelope this giant bling is from a longer sheet I just cut it up so I can share it that's kind of cute and then basically this would go here. Now let me just test this out really quick. And then I have these tags. These are from Michaels, I got them last year, but I think they have some this year again. So I'm gonna put these two in the background. Okay, tags can go here. I'm gonna use some of the stickers. I think I like the dark blue of this Santa. I think I like these videos because I'm making decisions quicker because I know that I'm talking through this. So I don't know, I feel like I'm doing this a lot faster than I normally would. 
So yay, I think I'm gonna continue continue on with these type of videos. I'm not gonna use any more of these stars because I have an element of three going on. And as you can see, it creates that triangle, right? So one, two, three. Same thing here, one, two, three. It creates that triangle. So I'm gonna keep it that way. Um, I might use them in the front cover, which we still have to decorate, so don't know what I'll do here yet. I also have this stuff. Uh, the Holiday Love would be really cute. Oh, I like that. I'm gonna add some bling. I'm gonna add a lighter green here. And then the darker green up here. Since I used a medium dark green here, I'm gonna use a smaller dark green. This is the inside, so adorable. I'm going to add Winkastella. So I'm gonna add some Winkastella to the girl, make her super shiny. She's one of my favorite images in this whole collection. Okay. You, let's do the front. So this is a piece that I cut out from a card and I kind of like it that it's wonky. Usually I would fix the edges, but I like the look of that, like it all wonky and stuff. So I'm going to go with it. I really like that. Okay, so I'm going to commit. I might actually put some glue on this. It might look like I'm adding a lot, but I'm adding a very thin layer of this glue. There we go. And I'm just gonna use it for the front too. Oh, that'd be cute. So I'm gonna add the star up here. I think I like that glue that down a bit better. All right, now I'm thinking of adding little jemmies to the tree. So that adds like a little extra something something, very blingy to the front. I think I'm gonna keep it like this for now. We are done, yay! So now we're gonna fill up the inside, officially. So that is the Happy Mail portion. So it folds up like this. And the last step is to just tie it. So there you go, this is the completed project. I think it turned out really, really cute. I love making these, they are so much fun. And a quick little project for your pen pals and a fun, easy to do mini album. Um, I think it's so adorable and there's a lot of room in the pockets. You do make these into mini albums. You have a lot of room for photos and tags and journaling and I really like this idea. So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. I had a lot of fun putting it together. Let me know in a comment below if you like these real-time talk-through tutorials or if you like the sped up with the voiceover. I'm trying some new things, so let me know what you guys prefer for me. If you like to, if you like to see both for me, let me know that as well. I love to hear your feedback. And yeah, thanks so much for being here with me, and I'll catch you guys in another tutorial. Bye.